Welcome to Operations with Decimals. Today, we're going to make a chart that shows all the operations of decimals. The four operations are adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Here, we're going to talk about how to divide a decimal by a whole number and how to divide a decimal by a decimal. You should make this chart on one page of your notes and we'll make a second page for examples. And the examples can be Cornell style where we write the question in one side and put the answer on the other side. Okay, so in our decimals chart, the first column represents how to add or subtract decimals. And what you do is line up the decimal points. Also at the bottom of our chart, let's put that you place a decimal point to the right of a whole number. So if you have a number with no decimal point, you put the decimal to the right of it. Also, you can fill in any empty places with zeros as placeholders. So here's our first example. Try it on your own and then check back and see the answer. Okay, to add 3.51 and 2, first thing we need to do is line up the decimal points. And so we're going to make 2 into 2.00. It looks like $2 there. And we'll line those up. So the answer is 5.51. Next, let's talk about how to multiply decimals. You multiply and then count the decimal places. Decimal places are digits after the decimal point. Well, we all know 7 times 3. That's right. It equals 21. So multiplying 0 0.07 times 0 0.003, we're still just multiplying 7 times 3. Those are the numbers that are there. It equals 21. But we have to count decimal places. So 0 0.07 how many decimal places does that have? That's right, two places. How about 0 0.003? Yep, it has three places after the decimal point. So altogether, our answer should have five places. We add the number of places of each of the factors, and that's how many places there are in the product. So to put five places, that means we need three zeros in front of the Two one, so it's going to be point zero 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 two one. All right, we know that two times nine is eighteen. How many decimal places should there be in the answer? So we add the number of decimal places in each factor. That's two places and one place. So we want three places in our product. Point zero one eight has three places. 5 times 8 equals 40. Now, this is interesting in that it ends with a 0. So that 0 would be significant. So when we multiply 0 0.5 times 0 0.08, the 5 times 8 equals 40. Typically, a 0 does not count as a significant decimal place. But since that 0 in the 40 comes from multiplying 5 times 8, it is significant and counts towards the number of decimal places. So 0.5 has one place, 0.082. We want three places on our answer, and it will be 0 0.040, which we could then rewrite as 0 0.04. Multiplying 0 0.007, think James Bond, times 0.2, well, 7 times 2 is 14, and we just have to place the decimal point. So this would be three places and one more so for a total of four places. The answer will be 0 0.0014. Okay, next we're gonna talk about how to divide a decimal number by a whole number. And the rule is the decimal point is up. It goes straight up. So to divide 3.5 divided by 5, first of all, the decimal goes straight up. 5 cannot go into 3, 
but 5 goes into 35 7 times. There's no remainder. The answer is 0.7. Go ahead and try this one on your own. Okay, the decimal point goes straight up. 9 cannot go into 4, but 9 goes into 45 5 times. And 5 times 9 is 45. Again, no remainder, so the answer is 0 0.05. To divide a decimal by a decimal, the rule is over, over, up. And by over, over, up, what we mean is the, well, 0.28 is the dividend and 0.7 is the divisor in this problem. You can't have any decimal places in the divisor, so this needs to move over one place to the right, which means we have to move the dividend also one place to the right. That was the over, over, and then up. So can seven go into two? No. Seven goes into 28 four times, and four times seven is 28. No remainder. Problem solved. Seven times 0.4 equals 2.8. 0.65 divided by 0 0.005. So how many places do we need to move the decimal to the right? Three, one, two, three times to the right. So this is five, and we have to move the dividend the same number of times. That's gonna be three times to the right, one, two, three. And notice there's, I call this a carton. We're gonna put an egg in the carton. And so it's essentially 650 divided by five. 6 divided by 5 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Subtract, bring down the 5. 5 goes into 15 three times. 3 times 5 is 15. And notice there's a place over the 0, so we have to continue. And 5 goes into 0, 0 times. So the answer is 130. Lastly, I'd like to talk about the names of the decimal places. So there's a balance here around the ones place. To either side of ones is tens and tenths. The only difference in the spelling is a th, and that's true for all the numbers on the right side of the decimal point. So after ones and tens comes hundreds and hundredths then thousands and thousandths, ten thousands and ten thousandths. And the pattern continues with balance. So we'd have hundred thousands and hundred thousandths, millions and millionths, and so on.